What does the Tsar tell us? It constantly tells us about how a person finds the right connection between the two forces. That's the whole of reality. That's all you have. One attribute belongs to the creature, the other one belongs to the creator, and you can't speak about one without speaking about the other, but about the connection between them, an almost separation up to a whole connection. But that's all that it's telling us about. You have nothing besides that. Erase all the rest. It simply doesn't exist. It seems to you. You got a blow to your head and you're kind of blurry. And then he tells me about the Zaranpin and I identify these are the extents of connection between the creator and the creature. Between these two forces are called Zaranpin, Yaakov, Rachel, Malachim, Machanaim, doesn't matter what. But it's much easier for me when I'm not on the lesson to, as if theoretically, think about the connection between the points and the heart, but you don't draw the reforming light doing that. But what do I do about the Zaranpin? It doesn't matter. If upon what he tells you, you depict these attributes by the effort of trying to depict these things correctly, what does he say? To the extent of the yearning to know what you're reading, what you're studying, one draws upon himself the reforming light. If, while reading, you depict corporeality, you're drying out the Torah, you're engaged in idolatry, you're then called the mixed multitude.